Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about selection of suction catheter for endotracheal tube suctioning. This will be useful for the nurses for performing suctioning without any complications. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. Why to select an appropriate size suction catheter for endotracheal suctioning? During endotracheal suctioning, if you are using an inappropriate suction catheter, for example, small suction catheter or large suction catheter, it may cause tracheal damage, mucosal trauma, and may cause hypoxia. For example, if the catheter is too small, it will not be adequate to remove secretions and so repeated attempts will be necessary which also have been shown to damage the trachea. And if a large catheter is used, it will also occlude the tracheal tube which may cause hypoxia. This can be minimized by using appropriate size suction catheter and it will limit the risk of mucosal trauma. Now. How to select an appropriate size of suction catheter for endotracheal suctioning? For selection of appropriate size suction catheter, we need to know the internal diameter and outer diameter of the endotracheal tube. Here you can see the image of an endotracheal tube where the internal diameter and outer diameter are highlighted with the circles clearly and which shows internal diameter is 8 mm and outer diameter is 10.7 mm. It has been recommended that the diameter of the suction catheter should be no more than half the internal diameter of the tracheal tube. When we look at this picture here, the internal diameter is 8 mm and external diameter is 10.7 mm. And for the purpose of calculating the size of suction catheter, we need to know the internal diameter of the endotracheal tube. Now, formulas to estimate proper suction catheter size are internal diameter multiplied by 3 divided by 2 and then use next larger front size. For example, the size or internal diameter of the endotracheal tube is 8. So, 8 is multiplied by 3 and divided by 2 which gives the answer 12. So we use the next larger French size that is 14 French size suction catheter. Next formula is internal diameter multiplied by 2 then use the next smallest French size. For example, the size or internal diameter of the endotracheal tube is 8 and we multiply 8 by 2 which gives the answer 16. So we use next smallest French size that is 14 French suction catheter. Another simple formula is internal diameter of the UT tube multiplied by 2 minus 2. For example, internal diameter of UT tube is 8. So 8 multiplied by 2 minus 2 gives the answer 14. So 14 French size suction catheter is used for suctioning. So these are the three formulas to calculate the appropriate size of suction catheter for suctioning. And you can use any one of these formulas. And remember, this can be used as a preliminary step before performing suctioning for the patient. Check the endotracheal tube size of the patient and then calculate the appropriate size suction catheter using any one of these formulas and then you can arrange the articles. So here you go with selection of appropriate size suction catheter for endotracheal tube suctioning. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.